because uh, to uh, the trade unions um, have made the experience that the internet has become an important tool, changing uh, the way in which companies operating are operating and thus uh, impacting upon employment, working conditions, working hours, uh, every aspect of uh, working life. Actually, I wanted uh, to make uh, the participants aware that the focus uh, chosen by the OECD is much uh, too narrow. They are focusing more on the techno technical aspects and on the regulatory framework. They do hardly uh, consider any issue which is linked uh, to the social impact of uh, the Internet. Well, that uh, the Internet uh, may uh, really uh, enable citizens, uh, workers, uh, to make full use of their uh, human rights, uh, of their rights at the workplace. But we heard yesterday evening that uh, all people talking about the Internet are praising its potential in order to strengthen democracy. But if uh, people, young people like here, right now here in Korea, are trying to make use of this potential, then the government uh, acts rather critical and tries, you know, to make these activities uh, more difficult or to ban these activities. Unfortunately, yesterday, the Korean Prime Minister criticized, uh, you know, activities of young people which uh, were challenging a government uh, proposal to change the, regu the regulatory framework for the media here in Korea. And young people, Korean citizens, are concerned about the fact that that would limit, you know, democracy in the country. In order to have a vibrant uh, democracy, you need to have independent media. And the concern here is that uh, the government tries to get control over the media and thus undermines, you know, uh, uh, the future uh, uh, pros prospects for the democracy. And what we observed were young people, you know, just uh, by using the internet, uh, meeting outside this meeting hall. We saw a lot of riot police, uh, uh, which uh, didn't create a nice environment. But uh, what upset me was the fact that I found the remarks made by the Prime Minister rather outrageous. Well, one fear is related to the fact that the Internet, of course, um, has contributed to a global labor market, which means that workers, uh, in the end, uh, are competing against each other across national borders. Uh, in the past, we experienced this kind of uh, globalization of labor markets in the low-skilled uh, um, uh, employment or occupation area. But uh, nowadays we are uh, observing that even high-skilled jobs uh, are affected. Uh, look uh, to, for instance, outsourcing and offshoring. Take into account that IBM in India over a couple of uh, uh, years, less than six years, has uh, created uh, employment um, in, in figures, if I got it right, the IBM has created in India more than 60,000 60, jobs in a period of six or seven years. But these were not new jobs. A lot of jobs have been transferred from other countries. And I am not calling, you know, for uh, protectionism to uh, keep jobs in a country like in the US or in Germany. But uh, what we are asking for are policies which would, uh, you know, strengthen the ability of workers uh, to transit to other jobs. We are urging governments to come up with uh, labor market and training policies which would facilitate the adjustment and which would uh, contribute uh, to a situation in which the costs and benefits of the use of the Internet are fairly shared. Well, uh, right now I'm a bit concerned that we still have a long way to go in order to reach a consensus about what I would uh, describe a fairer um, globalization.
But I'm also concerned about the fact that uh, many discussions, many policymakers uh, um, promoting the use and uh, the growth of the internet are focusing only on certain parts uh, of um, its life cycle. Uh, one of the issues we tried to, to table here is related, you know, to the technical devices infrastructure you need in order to operate uh, the internet and uh, there are problems with harmful substances with um, health and safety issues in the process of manufacturing ICT goods uh, and devices and at the end of the life cycle uh, there are similar issues and what we are concerned about is the fact that uh, many countries many companies uh, are um, carrying their e-waste uh, to countries like India, China, African countries. Actually, we are concerned about uh, the fact that we are trashing parts of Asia and Africa with uh, uh, e-waste. Well, I hope that uh, we, in, let's say, less than 10 years, will have uh, another OECD conference focusing on the Internet with then um, hopefully a broader focus, not focusing mainly on uh, technological related issues. Difficult question. Uh, well, it should be an enabler for democracy, for um, everyday life, it should facilitate the organization of everyday life, but within a framework which would respect environmental as well as social requirements.